morning everyone but well, it's actually afternoon it's 25 past 12 and today i'm here with a one day vlog i woke up this morning and i was like i really want to vlog but i don't want to do a weekly vlog because i've got two that i need to put up and today's a very like busy photography heavy day and some of you may be interested as to what i actually get up to on my course and this is probably like if you like photography this would be a great vlog for you to watch um it's one day in the studio three hours i've got a studio booked out we're doing a massive shoot using smoke and ice and velvet and loads of fun colors and it's meant to be it's going to be so much fun i'm so apprehensive because i've never done anything this large scale before ever it's with two third year music students i do press and editorial photography at falmouth uni just in in case anyone is found this video who doesn't normally watch my videos um i'm normally from london and i've moved to cornwall for my degree and i bloody love it i've never felt so happy than i do down here but i thought i'd give you a little tour as to the kind of stuff i'm taking with me on my shoot and then i'll take you to the shoot and then this evening i'm going to open mic this is a quick like overview of my kit it's not all mine, obviously. This is mine. Canon camera that I shoot everything on is the Canon 70D. It does have a slight fault, this camera. I bought it second hand and the battery, if you leave it in there, drains. Like, if you leave it in there for, like, two days, it will be dead, which is really odd. And um, I need to get it sorted. But currently, I'm too heavily reliant on it to get it sent off for repair. Um, I have an 85mm lens aperture of 1.8. Um, this is my own lens. The lens cap is filthy, but this is my personal lens like i own this myself i've obviously got three batteries these are all canon batteries and these four bags here all from stores the facilities at this uni are insane um if you ever come make sure you come down to an open day and have a look the amount of stuff they have is incredible um i was at ravensbourne in london before to do my art foundation and when you compare the facilities they have here to the materials and like resources you can get out of the stores for like photo equipment here they don't even compare i feel like a kid in a, ch in a sweet shop most of the time canon 24 to 70 mil lens got out a 35 mil lens this is my go-to for portrait um i absolutely love it it comes with the hood and the the lens itself it's an amazing lens i also have here a 50 mil um this is like the lens that every Tom, Dick and Harry has. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I like it. It's decent. Um, it's not my go-to lens, but I got it out just because it's handy to have. The final lens I've got out is a 45mm tilt and shift. This is insane. I've never used one before until the other day. You basically, so like it moves like this like that so you can do really cool portraits and stuff so that is all the kit i'm taking with me on this shoot quite a lot of it i'm also taking this bag which is full of like color gels like colored pieces of gel paper that you attach to the lights to make them cool colors i'll insert some examples on the screen now of ones i've done like practice shoots for this I will also take a box of SD cards that I have just so that I know that if I overshoot I have enough um, and that is about it. I'll probably take my camera battery charger just in case everything dies which it shouldn't but you never know. I'm currently in our very Christmassy kitchen. This is my ice and I want some bread to go with my soup but um, our kitchen has been like completely rearranged and it's Hello, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Please do come into our kitchen, it's a lovely place. <laughs> no, I've got to um, take these on a photo shoot I'm doing. I need bin bags. <laughs> yeah, it's, think it's thinking Wait, of about it. Did <laughs> you just say if you press the go button? You don't watch the vlog. No. But now you're in the vlog. What is it? It's Em's vlog. Is it? She Em's got a vlog. Got a vlog. Definitely watch it. Richard, banging. Emily and Exo. I do have a vlog. God, it's a vlog. Have you vlogged today yet? I have it. I'm doing a vlog of this studio. That is like a really Hang on. Nice Hang on. Camera, I think mm. I need Stand up. You got shit on your ass. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. This. Very fancy. <laughs> and you ready for the big look at the size of this? Huge. He's moving into his house because his friend, his friend, is our friend's brother. Well. 
stressful day doesn't even cut how I currently feel. Um, I've got just gone back to my flat. Um, it's been a it was a very long shoot. We finally wrapped uh, about quarter past four. Studio booking was due in at half four. Um, returned the booking at thirty three minutes past, which was fine. But um, I haven't got my files, which I'm so paranoid about. I'm feeling really like quite emotionally worried about it because I don't think they're gonna go anywhere but obviously like they the, my files are literally in the hands of the computer which I can't access because I didn't have time to transfer them I went and got my chocolate from the shop I actually had a very nice flat dinner and um, we all just coincidentally the majority of us all had dinner at the same time tonight um so we all just sat and had dinner had a nice little chat while having our dinner stayed in there for about an hour or so and I'm now back in my room um, I'm about to read through a journal um this is called Alan an 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 oh my god I can never see this word analysis of photo sharing of visual social relationships Instagram as a case study because we have to write a journal review and I thought this was really interesting because obviously I do I use social media all the time for all my creative practices I thought it was quite an interesting way of like analysing how social media is used by different people I'm going out in an hour to the stannery and um, it's open mic Charlotte's performing as are some of her friends and they're all such good musicians so I'm going there gonna have a few ciders have a really like chill night we're doing a slow pan we're doing a slow pan and we're gonna watch his eyes <laughs> so give us a, an interesting interview Oh, hang on, I've got to pan out. I'm just on your face at the moment. <laughs> oh, Sam, you made me laugh. I shook the camera. <laughs> I'm now back in my flat and I'm here to sign off this day vlog. I've actually really enjoyed doing this vlog just being like a one day thing. I'm actually off to bed in a minute. I'm going to make some tea. Um, I've got a really early start tomorrow morning. Um, it was such a nice event. Um, I know Ben and I and Hugh all left feeling so inspired. Like, I feel like when you see a lot of people all doing what they love, to such an amazing standard you can't help but feel so like physically empowered like I felt so so happy for them all and just so proud so but yes um I will see you guys very soon I'm sure for um far more content I'm hopefully doing vlogmas but let's not hold me to it <laughs> I might be doing vlogmas or I might do like a vlog every two days or something but I've done vlogmas um every year for two years now and i don't really want to not do it so we will see what happens but i'll see you soon bye guys